Hello YouTubers, uh, right then, uh, been to Plymouth, uh, had a bargains galore, it's like stepping into the magical world of Wonderland in this place, it is for memorabilia and collectibles, they've got this amazing market there, this little indoor market, it's like from the 80s, and around it there's all these little vintage retro shops and other places, uh, they're all like down little streets. <coughs> they're all like down little streets and stuff. Uh, had an absolutely awesome time and couldn't resist it. So uh, I've got a list. I'm going to review several of these items separately because you know they're going to need doing. Uh, so I'm going to show you what Martin got on his Martin bag and hunts. Firstly, he's just got some standard Blu-rays from Computer Exchange, uh, Maze Runner. Maze Runner, I'm going to need to bring the camera in closer. Uh, right, I've got Maze Runner. So, I've seen the second one, but not the first. Enjoyed the second one. Uh, personal favourite, Marvel Knights, all of them. Which I'm very happy about. On Blu-ray, Iron Man, Spider-Woman, Black Panther, all the X-Men. I have some others of these. Uh, they're not all on there, but there's a big chunk from that. The Inhumans is not on there. It's a shame it would have been good if they'd have been on there. So I've got them on Blu-ray. Right, I, I have a PS, uh, I have a PS4, but I've got a PS3 as well, which plays PS2 games. Uh, right, hang on, let me just put on PS4, play some music. Right, uh, we need music, don't we? Right, so I, I picked this up. Paid two, I paid about two quid for it. Uh, Mortal Kombat uh, vs DC uh, Universe. Have a bash at that sometime when I get the fucking time. Right. Uh, got Doctor Who. Dalek Fighter. Uh, we'll be reviewing this unboxing. Got this half the price. I couldn't believe it, pay, didn't pay that much for it, really surprised actually, because these are return at 25, 20 quid, I paid, trust me, paid a lot less than that for it. Uh, found this in a charity shop, bombed on Blu-ray, can you believe it? Bought that, bang, gone, got it, so I got that, bombed on Blu-ray. Found this little like comic shop in the market, uh, picked up Ursa from uh, Superman, uh, you know, Zod's Mrs. This is the last son. Uh, I don't know what wave this is because it's just a random figure I picked up, but that'll go on the wall. So I'm very happy with that as a stand with it. So, uh, what's this? There's enough Blu ray. Oh no, I've done that. Right. right. Found this in a, in a charity shop. Uh, Mr. Spock starts at the original motion picture. This is, I think, this is one of the cancelled posters, you know. So I paid four quid for that. So quite happy, and it's still sealed. Canvas print. Uh, I picked up uh, an Iron Man Hulk Buster. It's about 12 inch. I'm going to do a video on that. It's uh, in, on display at the moment, so I'll get that out of the box. Uh, this is my favourite, again, pick this up on a second hand shop, it's going for next to nothing. It does have Halo 3 game in it, uh, as you can tell, there's the helmet. God, I love the fucking visor on this, look at the visor man. So I picked that up, but I don't think it's the original game, because I think that it's, it's Halo 3 game. Uh, I'll just take that off. Uh, there were no DVD with it, so the game, the game that was in it, uh, seems to have come from Computer Exchange, completely separate. It's the Xbox, Xbox Classics. I don't have an Xbox. I did do. I had an Xbox One. Didn't like it. Uh, give me a PS4 any day, but people will completely disagree with me on that. But I always wanted the Halo. I've got the Hellgas mask. The Killzone. So I'll put that next to it. Uh, sort of half and half on Halo. So I'll put this back. Really happy with that. Uh, right, what else did I get? Oh yeah, picked up uh, another bargain. Uh, 
uh, got a Nerve Stormtrooper blaster. It don't wait, it's all here. I was going to do a video on this uh, uh, to put the cartridge in there and cock it down like that bang. Uh, yeah, we'll do a video on that. I know these have only just come out a few weeks ago. This was a box, but I got it for next to nothing. So, extremely happy about that. Put that down here. Uh, popped into Toys R Us. Uh, picked up uh, an X-Wing from the Rebels TV series, cartoon series. This was a third of the price. These are 39 quid each. I paid just over, like, just over a tenner for it. So, but I've not unboxed it yet. We'll be doing a video on this. It's three foot long. Obviously, I've got to open it and see, you know, for what I paid for it, what is the problem. But I thought I'd take the risk. So, that's it, really. That's uh, everything I bought in Plymouth for the week away I had. Uh, except you haven't seen the whole buster. Uh, that's it really, so please subscribe and share some of my videos, uh, I had a real bag and hunt uh, collectible toy hunting experience down there, I do recommend it, if you ever get to Plymouth, forget the mainstream shops, hit them, hit the indoor markets, get your arse down to Barbican and, uh, and wander around the city centre, there's a few shops hidden away, little gems, you know what I mean, I should have compiled a list and put them on here really, but then again I should charge them, you know, for advertising. So anyway, I'm only joking. So please uh, sub subscribe to some videos, share. You know what I mean? Look forward to hearing your comments. So that's another Mark Martin's bargain hunt for this week. I'm completely worn out uh, from being away for a week. Uh, lots of drinking, frolicking and all kinds of stuff, but especially my favorite part, collectible hunting. So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Live long and prosper.